We purchased a building on Southwest Adams. So I'm a videographer. I have my own video production uh, company. And I'm working on opening a grocery store. In the very front part of the building, we have a uh, beautician slash waxologist. And then we have a yoga studio. It's a good building. It was in our price range, but it's also in relatively good shape. York is a, a good place for a small developer. Buildings are relatively affordable. There's older historic buildings and the opportunity to preserve them and to reuse them. And there's a great sense of community. A small scale developer is somebody that loves or cares about a place, that's identified a place they want to be or they want to have a positive impact on. Um, and can come in and, and buy a house, buy a commercial storefront on a corner and take a role in incrementally revitalizing their own neighborhood or their own place that they, they want to see changed. Most of these small developers don't have huge budgets to work with. Many times they don't know that they needed to talk to an architect, design professional, engineer to open up this wall. We're talking about safety issues now. An engineer would make sure that structurally you can do that or how to do that safely when they come to us and they're asking who they should contact. We have to say, oh, go Google and um, see what you can find or look in the yellow pages. It's not very customer friendly. Oftentimes, small scale developers, it might be the first business that they're opening, the first building that they're rehabbing. And so this is, I think, one small way, but it could really be a big benefit to the small developer. The innovation team was working with building inspectors and urban planners. So we thought, you know, this is a simple thing we can do to put out a request to our community for architects and professional engineers that have experience working with small scale developers. The RFQ is supposed to connect small business owners to design professionals to accomplish that dream they have. Even though it's a simple outcome, it meets a very big need. The IT means bringing challenges to light. I think working with the I-Team, it's been nice for us because it brings up new ideas and different ways of looking at things. One of the things that the city can do is, even if we don't have resources to make large-scale changes in given areas, we have the power to convene. The I-Team here in Peoria has done a really great job at organizing opportunities to talk to the community. I can't stress enough how good it's been to have the community of other people who are, are trying to do the same thing. That's what innovation in government means to me, uh, is stepping back and taking a look at how can we make this a little easier. Investing in a building is not just financial. When you invest in a building, you are creating the place that you want to live.